Welcome to Microfocus. In this video, we will perform a new installation of Identity Manager on Linux platforms. This release introduces a script-based installer that allows you to install and configure Identity Manager components seamlessly. The components such as Designer, Analyzer and Sentinel Log Management for IGA must be installed separately. Before you begin with the installation process, you must review the prerequisites and considerations for installing and configuring the components on a single server or in a distributed setup. You must review the system requirements for each component from the Identity Manager technical information page. The script-based installer allows you to perform the installation and configuration of Identity Manager engine, remote loader, fanout agent, iManager web administration, identity applications, and identity reporting in two phases. The install script lays down the required files and binaries on your file system. The configuration script configures the components based on the inputs provided during the configuration process. Identity Manager 4.7 supports two modes of configuration. Typical configuration. This type of configuration prompts you to specify minimal inputs. It assumes default settings for most of the configuration options. Custom configuration. This type of configuration allows you to specify values according to your requirement. You can customize most of the settings using this option. The details about the configuration parameters are described in the setup guide. Let us have a detailed look at the components and subcomponents that are installed as part of the advanced edition. Identity Manager Engine. This option installs the Identity Vault, Identity Manager Engine, and the Identity Manager Drivers. It also installs the Oracle JRE. Remote Loader. This option installs the Remote Loader service and the driver binaries in the Remote Loader. Fanout Agent. This option installs the Fanout Agent for the JDBC Fanout Driver. iManager Web Administration. This option installs the iManager Web Administration Console and the iManager plugins. Identity Applications This option installs components such as Identity Manager Dashboard, Identity Manager Administration Console and User Application. It deploys the Role and Resource Service Driver and the User Application Driver. It also installs the Tomcat Service, Oracle JRE, the ActiveMQ Service, the Authentication Service to support single sign-on, and the password management service to reset your password. It also creates the PostgreSQL database and an administrative user called IDM admin to own the database. Identity reporting. This option installs components such as the reporting and the data collection services. It deploys the managed system gateway driver and the data collection services driver. If you are installing identity reporting, on a different server than identity applications, then this option also installs the Tomcat service, the authentication service, and the PostgreSQL database. Self-service password reset. This option installs the password management component for Identity Manager. Identity Manager provides the flexibility of installing this component on a separate computer. If you are installing standard edition, you must use this installation option. Let us perform a silent installation of Identity Manager components. The silent installer allows you to create a silent properties file using a script. The silent properties file can be used to run a silent installation on different servers in your environment. Download the Linux ISO on a computer where you want to install Identity Manager. Mount the downloaded ISO. To create a silent properties file, run the create silent props.sh script from the location where you have mounted the Linux ISO. Specify the path where you want to save the silent properties file. Select the mode of configuration and then select the components that you want to install. Specify the appropriate values for the configuration parameters. At the end of the configuration process, the silent properties file is created at the specified location. To edit the value specified in this file, 
run the create silent props.sh script again and specify the new values for the parameters that you want to modify. After the silent properties file is created, run the silent installation command from the mount directory. The command reads the values from the silent properties file. For details about the configuration parameters, see the Identity Manager Linux setup guide. Thank you for watching this video.